This is code.org, and we're keeping track of hydration? This program keeps track of how hydrated you are. Okay, I want to know what it does. Let's see. Prove it. Okay, I hear a noise. Noise. Ooh, waterworks. Yes. Yes. Nothing else. Okay. Well, this one works. Cup of water. Let me hit reset. Uh, one of the buttons has already has working code inside of it. Hey, we just proved that. The other buttons will work very similarly. Similarly, rather than write repeated code, practice creating an update screen function that you call inside of each on event. Run the program check. Read the code for cup button carefully. Decide which lines belong in update screen. Declare an update screen function. Okay, so they're telling us guys right away that we're going to need a function called update screen. So if you're right here in functions, right? It is, yes, it was right here in functions is where you need to be. And I'm going to type in update screen. Okay. And I'm going to minimize this for now because I want to see what they're talking about. Let's real quick hit upon what's happening currently. So on the event that the but cup button is clicked, if I hover over mine, now if you're running, it won't do it. But since I've reset mine, if I hover over it, the ID for this is cup button. So on the event that I click this, bloop. The code inside of here runs. We have two variables up here, cups consumed and total water. We're using those to keep track. So we take their old value and add one to it. So cups consumed has a new value. It's equal to whatever it used to be equal to plus one is its new value. Well, it used to be zero the first time I hit it, right? So now it's one. Well, it used to be one and cups consumed will have a new value when I hit it again. It's equal to its old value plus one. So now it's two, so on and so forth. And then we, ah, look, they even left an update screen thing here. Cool. So it looks like that's what we're going to want to be using. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and grab these lines and move them into this. Now, let's see, play sound. Are all these sounds, ooh, all of the sounds are the same. That is tempting. I might even then put this sound in here if all of them were the same. Okay, now guys, what this allows us to do, keep in mind, is instead of doing all of that code here, we can just call this function, update screen. It will work identically, because now when I run it, it says, Doo -doo -doo, add, add, whatever, whatever, and it hits this, and the computer goes, what the heck is that? And it starts looking, nope, not that, oh, smack, and it runs all of this code, right here, right where it did before. That looks like nothing, but I think you kind of get the idea. All right, so this should work just the same. Granted, it's still only this button. Yep, no problem, works the same. Okay, uh, yep, and it's up to you for the sound, honestly, right? You might think it shouldn't be in there. Add code to make the bottle running and weights button work. They should increase or decrease by the total amount of water and increase either the total number of cups or workout. Make sure you call update screen. Oh, did they let us pick how much though? Oh, cool. Okay. Zoop. I'm going to pick then. It doesn't tell me. Unless. Nope. Great. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and put my update screen somewhere down here just to get it out of the way. Cool. And I might put a space. This isn't necessary. I'm just doing it for tidiness. Okay. And now for this. Let's see. Bottle. So for the bottle button, I feel like a bottle is more than a cup, so I might do twice the amount. So it's going to be similar to this line here. And I'm also going to need to increase total water. Oh, look, they gave us. Okay, so a bottle, it looks like they think is four times the amount of a cup. Okay, so then I'm going to say if cups consumed for a bottle is equal to whatever cups consumed used to be equal to plus four. four. All right, and now total water is gonna be equal to total water plus what? Plus uh, a bottle. So I guess that's how many ounces. So, and again, bottle will be this amount. And then we play the sound, except I have this update screen method. So I can do update screen instead and since i included the sound down here now if you didn't that's fine 
you might have it set up like this, and then you would be good to go. However, since I'm going to include that sound, I'm going to kill this. Goodbye. Cool. And I'm going to do something similar, I think, for running and wait. Running is 24, weights is 16. And I'm going to say they both equal workout. So let me get that in here. And we have a workouts variable. Cool. So very similar. Mmm. So this is how much water it takes. That's a trap equal to one workout, actually. But they'll consume different amounts of water. And so this will be the amount of water it takes to run. So it will be a negative. Minus running. And running is equal to 24. And then I'm just going to copy this. Go down here. Do a paste. And this time I'll subtract weights. And then I can get rid of play sound. Because I included that in my method. If you didn't, you would need that here. Boom. This is all looking pretty. Okay. Um, yeah, let's give this a shot. Boop. And this should give me four cups, I decided. And this should give me one workout. I said this was also a workout. This takes away 16. This is taking away 24. Add 8, add 32. It works! Cool. This is really useful. It is so easy to make code more reusable. Think of how this would look without this method, guys, or without this function. If I copy this, instead of this, I would need all of that. Instead of this, I would need all of that, right? And now, all we have to do is just say this once. Pow. And all of that code runs anyways. Awesome. Onward.